This here is a filament dryer. Or wait, no, this is the filament dryer. Or wait, no, that's a filament dryer too. So if you've been 3D printing for a little while now, chances are you've heard of a filament dryer. Maybe you've even wondered, what exactly is a filament dryer and do I really need one for my 3D prints? Well today, I'm going to break that down for you guys. We're going to talk about what exactly is a filament dryer and do you actually need a filament dryer? Okay, so what exactly is a filament dryer? Let's start with the basics. A filament dryer is exactly what it sounds like. It's a device that dries out your 3D printing filament. Over time, certain filaments like PLA, PETG, and especially nylon can absorb moisture from the air. This is because most filaments are hygroscopic, which means they soak up water like a sponge. When filament absorbs moisture, it can cause all kinds of problems during 3D printing. You might see bubbling or hear popping noises as the moisture turns into steam in the hot end. This can mess up your print quality, leaving you with stringy, rough, or inconsistent layers. If you've ever had a print fail and couldn't figure out why, wet filament might have been the culprit. So that brings us to our next question. How exactly do filament dryers work? A filament dryer works by gently heating your filament to remove any absorbed moisture. Think of it like a mini oven for your spools, but it operates at a much lower temperature so it doesn't damage the material. Most dryers have a temperature control setting, so you can adjust it depending on the type of filament you're drying. All right guys, so that was the textbook definition, but let's take a look at real world of what these things actually look like and how they work. So as you can see here, there's a wide array of different designs of filament dryers. And I think that's because this is pretty new technology. And this one here, I actually built and put together myself. I thought I would hate this one the most because I had to build it, but it looks the coolest and I had a lot of fun building it. So the first thing you notice is the different filament dryers hold different amounts of reels of filament, right? For example, example, this is the Sunlu S2, and this obviously only holds one roll of filament. The big question you need to ask yourself with a filament dryer is how many rolls of filament are you printing with? For me personally, I tend to 3D print with multicolor AMS as of recently. That means I need to dry four rolls of filament, and that's where this big beast comes in right here. This is the Sunlu S4. And yes, this thing holds four rolls of filament. It's absolutely insane. Two different sides here. But if you're printing in single color, maybe you only need a smaller filament dryer like these. The next variable you might want to ask yourself is are you going to be 3D printing with the rolls of filament inside the filament dryer as you 3D print? Or are you going to just do it in advance? Because some of these fittings actually directly connect to like PTFE tubes. For example, if you have bamboo machines, you can just connect this PTFE tube inside these little grommets here. Whereas other filament dryers don't have that feature, but the filament just slides right through that style of grommet. So let's break down the design and how filament dryers work. I'm gonna open this one here. Usually this is a sealed enclosed enclosure because remember the goal is we are removing humidity and moisture. So how these work here, let's take these rolls of filament out here. They're essentially pretty simple here. All we have here is a heating element, usually on the bottom, and then we have a fan somewhere in the device and all it does is it heats up inside the enclosure and the fan hopefully moves around air and that humid air floats to the top and escapes. I will also say there's a tiny bit of controversy within the hobby because at first some of the filament dryers were completely enclosed and had no venting. That way the level of humidity could not re be released from the enclosure but as you can see here this one actually has a built-in vent that you can twist to open up. That allows the warmer air that's more humid to rise and exit the enclosure. So that leads us to the last question. Do you actually need a filament dryer? Because if you get on forums or Facebook groups, there's a lot of people saying you don't actually need them. So to answer this question, it really depends on a few factors. First, what types of filament are you using? If you're printing mostly with PLA in a dry environment, you might not notice much of a difference. PLA isn't as sensitive to moisture as other filaments, so you can often get away without using a dryer. But if you're working with PETG, TPU, or nylon, a filament dryer can be a total game changer. These types of filaments absorb moisture really quickly, and the difference in print quality after drying them can be night and day. 
Another big factor is how are you storing your filament rolls? A lot of people use vacuum seal bags and that really helps to kind of keep the moisture condensed in there. But if you're just leaving them out in the air, obviously they're going to absorb a lot more moisture in the air. And I gotta vent a little bit because when I was a beginner and I just bought all the supplies I needed, the 3D printer, the filament, like all this stuff, it was expensive to get started. And when I figured out I needed another piece of tech, like a, a filament dryer, I was like, what? Like, is how much crap am I gonna have to buy? Let me know in the comments if you agree, as a beginner. A third consideration is how often are you 3D printing? If you're printing every day and going through tons of spools quickly, you might not need to worry as much because your filament doesn't have time to absorb that moisture. But if you're a more casual 3D printer and your spools sit around for weeks or months, a filament dryer can save you a lot of frustration. And when I was in the process of thinking of getting a filament dryer, you know, I thought to myself, well, do I need one? Do I want to chance it? And that's when I went and just got them. And chances are you're thinking the same thing. It's like, man, I'm this deep in this hobby. The last thing I want to be doing is 3D printing crappy filament that's full of moisture. And nothing sucks more than having a print that takes hours and then all of a sudden it screws up and everything's ruined. So your next question might be, well, Chris, what filament dryer do I need? And that's a very good question. I've gone down a complete wormhole. I think I own like five of these filament dryers now. Well, I need to test them all is what I'm saying. That about wraps up this video on what is a filament dryer and do you need one? If you've decided that you need one, consider checking out this next video on the best filament dryers to buy. And maybe consider subscribing. Here's the video, guys.